Now you're not going to beat me on excise taxes and run my budget this year. I've got that. I've got ways and means holding hearings, and we're going to come up with a recommendation one way or the other. But don't beat me on that. Now you can do it if you want to, and you can run my budget. But you're hollering the economy and and uh, trying to balance it. Now cut the deficit. 50% under what Kennedy had it. Now, if you screw me up on excise taxes and get that thing going, well, I'll have hell. Now, let my Ways and Means no, Committee... Now, no, look at the pressure I'm under. Now, you're not under. Trade association. Well, I know it, but to God, you also for good fiscal prudence, and you know you know that the way to do this is through the House Committee, and you know if you put it in, you're not going to get it. They're not going to let you all write a bill over in the Senate on taxes, you know. Now, please don't press me on that. Well, who are you going to take? You going to take all your Republicans? Give me one or two of them, and let them be prudent. You've got people on there that can... Well, you've got enough votes to do No, I haven't. I haven't. You can beat me, and if you, you ought to do it. And you, you, you see how I'm, how you gonna let me win by one vote, man? I'll call you back in a little bit on this. You never talked that way when you were sitting in that front seat. Yeah, well, I, I did. I did. If my country's involved, I voted for Ike one time. When Nolan voted against him, I cast the vote on his foreign aid and brought it out of the committee. You're a hard bargainer. And no, I'm not. But you just take care of me. I'll look at this and see what I can do and call you right back. Oh.